ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंद गोपकुमाराय गोविंदाय नमो नम नमो महाबदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय ते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौरात्रेश नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थपिता भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मैं ददा स्वपदातिक जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासदिगौर भक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा डियर डिवोर इज डूइंग भक्ति शास्त्री एंड विथ वी आई एच ई वी आर डिस्कसिंग नेक्टर ऑफ डिवोशन वी आर एन वेव नंबर थ्री द भाव भक्ति आर डिवोशन इन एक्सटेसी वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द सेवेंटीन चैप्टर इन विच भाव भक्ति इज डेफिनेशन एंड हाउ वन कैन अचीव भाव भक्ति आर मेथड टू acquire bhag bhav bhakti is described uh and then we started chapter 18 in which uh, there are nine characteristics uh, uh for bhav they are called anubhav and we discuss these uh, nine anubhav of bhav bhakti which are permanent which can be observed when which cannot be imitated so a vairat kalatvam not wasting a moment shanti tolerance vrakti detachment man sunyata which means prideless asha band having a hope samutkantha having eagerness naam gaane sada ruchi always eager to chant holy name asakti tad guna khyane always attached to describing the qualities of krishna and priti tad vasti istale always desire to uh, go to the place of past time of sri krishna and then we have some proof for each uh, quoted by shri rupa goswami from this different scriptures for everything so for shanti we have parikshit maharaj for vrakti we have bharat maharaj man sunyata we have this bhagiratha and the lala baba <coughs> for asha band we have rupa goswami himself and then for rest three it is from the krishna karnamrit so what today we are going to start is this this is the subject matter which is next semblance of rati or bhav rati abhas you know like we, there is a naam abhas similarly there is a rati abhas it means that it is not a pure bhav but it is a imitation bhav so this is semblance of rati or rati abhas is of two type one is called reflection and the technical name is pratibimba and the other is called shadow the technical technical name is chaya <coughs> when there is a semblance of rati resemblance accompanied by desire for enjoyment and liberation means bhukti and mukti both these desires can be fulfilled by this type of rati abhas such a person may occasionally associate with pure devotees and intensely imitate their activities for example hearing chanting without realizing the fault of his material desires the ecstasy of the pure devotee appears 
in his in its uh, reflected the ecstasy of the pure devotee appears in uh, its reflected form in the heart of this person like a moon's reflection so it is not his own bhav or rati it is a bhav or rati of a pure devotee which is reflecting in his heart why he cannot have a pure rati because he has material desire and desire for liberation on the <coughs> on the other hand there is shadow or chaya rati in occasional association with pure devotees a person may participate may participate out of it should be out of material curiosity not what out of material curiosity and sometime develop symptoms that may resemble those of bhav or rati this is less intense but has less ulterior motives than in the first type means reflection rati abhas and is hence considered better in the first type which means uh, pratibhimb or reflection the attraction to material enjoyment or liberation is very strong but in this type of material curiosity about the lord is transient so these are the two type of uh, rati abhas so now let us read in our book uh somebody can start reading yes from where to ji hari bol it should be started from such attraction for remembering krishna's activities is known as attachment for krishna may i read through ah uh, chapter 18 where the all nine items are finished and then second paragraph such attraction for remembering krishna's activities is known as attachment for krishna there are impersonalist philosophers and mystics however who by a show of devotional service want ultimately to merge into the existence of supreme lord they sometimes try to imitate a pure devotee sentiment for visiting the holy places where krishna had his past tense but they simply have a view for salvation and so their activities cannot be considered attachment okay it is said Oh yes. It is said by Rupa Goswami that the attachment exhibited by pure devotees of Krishna cannot possibly be perfect perfected in the hearts of pure workers, karmis, or mental speculators because such attachment in pure Krishna conscious is uh, very rare and not possible to achieve even for many liberated persons. As okay, one by, one minute. It is very rare. so you immediately remember bhav bhakti is ati durlabha huh? it is rarely achieved so it cannot be achieved this is a one of the characteristic of bhav bhakti and simple second thing is it is is not possible to achieve even for many liberated person so now shila prabhupad is saying something bhagavad gita anybody should guess which is this verse you read this and then somebody should tell me As stated in Bhagavad Gita, liberation from material contamination is the stage at which devotional service can be achieved. For a person who simply wants to have liberation and to merge into the impersonal Brahma Jyoti, attachment to Krishna is not possible to acquire. Okay, Bhagavad yes. Gita. Bhagavad Gita. Which is this verse? But we read this. Prabhupada has written. We must find out what Prabhupada wanted here to write uh, by reference to Bhagavad Gita. any 
any student can guess which is this verse As stated, Bhagavad Gita, liberation from material contamination is the stage at which the devotional service can be achieved. If we read like this, then we can, if somebody asks, how, where is in Bhagavad Gita, then how can we answer? <coughs> <coughs> and this is Prabhupada's own commentary, it's not in, uh, in, it is not in Bhakti Rasam with Sindhu. Is chapter 12? Chapter 12, no. I can, I just give you a hint, it is in chapter 18. We haven't, we haven't reached that. <laughs> 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 Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atmana Sochati Na Kankshati Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhabhaktim Labhate Param 1854, I think. Yes. Brahmbhuta means liberated stage and then they start the Parabhakti. So you write in a corner, this is a quote, this is called quote. It is a quotation from the scripture and the quote is from Bhagavad Gita, 1854. Take it, I don't know exactly. Okay. okay, next, uh, next Brahm Jyoti, go further. For a person who simply wants to have liberation and to merge into the impersonal Brahm Jyoti, attachment to Krishna is not possible to acquire. This attachment is very confidentially kept by Krishna and is bestowed only upon pure devotees. <coughs> Even devotees cannot have such pure attachment for Krishna. Therefore, how is it possible for success to be achieved by a person whose hearts are contaminated by the actions and reactions of future activities and who are entangled by various types of mental speculation? So, karmis and jnanis cannot have the pure uh, love of God. Oh, there's a bhav. Somebody has a phone ringing in the group. Okay, now read the next next line. So till this time only Prabhupada has told us, you know, Prabhupada, that karmis and jnanis cannot have the true bhav or rati. Because they only start after liberation, which means Brahma Bhuta stage, free from three modes of material nature. And jnan means in the mode of hope, goodness, and karma means in mode of patience. Karmis are in mode of patience, jnanis are in mode of goodness, and bhakti is beyond three modes of material nature. Now read the next thing, and you can, anybody can understand what is written here? Someone else can read Prabhupada. Yes. Can I read Prabhu? Yes. So, there are many so-called devotees who artificially think of Krishna's pastime, Known as Astakalika Leela. Anybody, is, anybody understand what is this word? Astakalika Leela. Asht means? Eight. 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 And Kalin means? Kal means? Nine. Time. <coughs> One day is divided into eight portions, three hours each. That three hour is called Ashta Pahar. Pahar means one pair means three hours. So there is a book written by Krishna's Kaviraj Govinda Leela Amrit, in which every three hours where Radha and Krishna having their pastime from the morning 6 to 9 till the next day and night. And there is a description that in, at the afternoon they are at Radha Kund, in the evening they are here, in the night they are here. And there is a method to meditate on pastime of Radha Krishna 
24 hours, it is not that I am awake 24 hours, I will sit one hour, but I will think 24 hours Krishna's pastime in different times. So Sri Rasana, uh, Sri Chira, Sri uh, <coughs> Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj wanted to print this book. Bhakti Vinod Thakur said, no, wait. Then again he was, can I print uh, Govind Leela Amit? He said, okay, yes, but only print one copy for yourself. So in other words, this is very rare thing. Only those who are at this stage of bhav, they can practice this, not the neophyte one. Similarly, there is a similar Leela of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Navadip every three hours where he is. There is called Gaur Ashtakali Leela. Here in Vrindavan sometime these uh, Ras Leela practitioner who uh, show the Ras Leela on the stage, they have Ashtakali Leela. But there is but there's, there's not really bona fide, the, those who are watching are bona, not bona fide to understand that. But they do have some time, this type, and <coughs> only selected people are allowed. So now Srila Prabhupada is saying, this is what those who are not at this stage, if they think of Ashtakalik Leela, what will happen? Read further. Sometimes yeah. one may artificially imitate these pretend this pretending that Krishna is talking with him in the form of a boy, or else one may pretend that Radharani and Krishna both have come to him and uh, come to him and are talking with him. Such characteristics are sometimes exhibited by the impersonalist class of men, and they may captivate some innocent person who have no knowledge in the science of devotional service. However, as soon as an ex experienced devotee, see all these, all these caricatures, caricatures, he can immediately evaluate such rascaldom. If such a pretender is sometimes seen possessing imitative attachment to Krishna, that will not be accepted as real attachment. It may be said, however, that such attachment gives the pretender hope that he may eventually rise unto the actual platform of pure devotional service. So till this time, Srila Prabhupada is speaking that these two types of karmi and jnani, they can never have a true attachment means to bhav bhakti arati. Uh, have you met some people, they say they are, Krishna is talking to them, Radharani is talking to them? No? Huh? You have some experience of such people? Yes, uh, sometime they said uh, in the dream, Prabhuji. Well, dream do come to some people, but anyway we should not really accept dream, because dream may come something, sometime, sometime uh, opposite to that then. Well, it's okay, but personally, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in Vrindavan, there was a big uh, uh, rumor that Krishna is dancing on the hood of Kaliya and Yamuna. And the, uh, the, the assistant of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he wanted to go and see Mahaprabhu, said it's not possible that uh, the Krishna can be available like this to the fools and rascals. So after a few days, they found that he was a fisher in a boat with a uh, with a light in a night. So it was like a some lalteen. It is like like a light, and that light was appearing as a Krishna dancing on the hoods of Kaliya because boat was swimming, as uh, swinging here and there. So this uh, this uh, is written in Chaitanya Chaitamrit. So even, so Mahaprabhu has re, uh, actually rejected this type of people saying, I met Krishna, I see, I saw Krishna, they talked to me. They are all imitations. Okay, now go to the, what uh, we I have. Yes. Yes. Uh, sorry. 
Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, please clear this line. Such characteristics are sometimes exhibited by the impersonalist class of men. Because impersonalists, so they people don't believe in the form of the Lord. So how can they I mean, express these things? <coughs> they all impersonalists are speaking Bhagavatam everywhere. This is this is the problem that they don't believe in the personal form of Lord, but because they will get, can you chief, can you see this? Uh, they may captivate some innocent person because by this they can make followers. So this is their sort of uh, preaching to the people and getting attracted to the innocent people. They don't believe themselves. But they make a show. Okay? Is it okay? All the, I mean, not all the Bhagavad speakers are Vaishnavas. Most of my, most are Mayavadis and impersonalist. And they speak and they cry when they talk. They show the symptoms. But it is not original bhav. Okay? Is it okay? Okay, Hare Krishna. Oh, go read the now. This is the now is coming a technical thing which we may have to correct. Read now. This imitative attachment means rati abhas. So now you write it is a Imita uh, imitative attachment is called Rati Abhas. It is divided into two types, namely shadow attachment and para attachment. Actually this shadow attachment written here and the para attachment are transcendental written next. We have to understand this when we read it down, this shadow will be reflection and para will be shadow. So if someone, someone without undergoing the regulating principle of devotional service or without being guided by bona fide spiritual mm -hmm. master, show such immediate attachment, this is called shadow attachment. One definition is given. Sometimes it is found that a person actually attached to material enjoyment. So now she, now she is a karmi. Material enjoyment are karmi. Our salvation is jnani. <coughs> Therefore this shadow is reflection or prithibhim. Has the good fortune to associate a pure devotee. While they are engaged in chanting the holy name, it means kirtan is going on. By the good grace of the Lord, one may so one may also cooperate and join in the chanting, they may start chanting also. At that time, simply by the association of such pure devotee, moon-like rays from their heart reflect on him. On him means the karmi or uh, uh, jnani. And by the influence of pure devotee, he may show some likeness for attachment, means Rati Abbas, caused by inquestiveness. But this very fulk, this is very fulcring. And if by manifestation of such shadow attachment, one feels the disappearance of all material pages, then it is called para attachment. Now Srila Prabhupada is, is speaking also the other side. Transient is the other one. But this shadow in our book is actually reflection or prithibhim. And now such shadow attachment or para attachment can Develop if one associate with a pure devotee or visit holy places like Vrindavan or Matra, and if an ordinary man 
develops such attachment for Krishna, fortunately perform devotional service in association of pure devotees, he can also rise to the platform of So they may elevate from Rati Abhas to the pure Rati. The conclusion, the conclusion is that transcendental attachment is a, so powerful that such attachment is seen manifested even some common men by the association of pure devotee can bring the perfectional stage. Okay, this is how it, so this one paragraph has two type which are not very clear if you read, is it right? You understand these two? This chart you see and you read this shadow is actually reflection. A shadow of our book is reflection and para of our book is shadow. Now, before we complete this, we can have a look in the original text for confirmation. Abu, yes? Uh, yeah, uh, does this uh, shadow uh, uh, imitation, um, this, those people are devotees or just a new neophyte? We have two categories and one they are people who are practicing karma or jnana. <clears throat> they come and meet some devotees where kirtan is going on, they may show some symptom where they are dancing, they may show some tears, they may show some nice symptoms. This is not their own, but they are reflection from pure devotee's heart. And this is the first type. On the other hand, there are some people that are just, just they are inquisitive. They are, what is going on in the temple? Let us go. They have no desire for liberation. They have no desire for any fruitive result to be achieved by going there. But out of curiosity they come. But when they come, when they dance with them, when they chant with them, they also show some symptom. But they are not very, very prominent. They are like shadow. There is also Rati Abhas. But that is better because they have no ulterior motive of uh, sense gratification or liberation. So the shadow is better than the reflection in which uh, the one who shows the symptom reflected from the pure devotee, but he has a desire for, he has a desire for liberation and other things. My class, 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 class. तो शाम रो पंचे वे जेके सवार सिबुर जैसे वो भड़ो जाए आपनों सस्तर सार नमी कहे वे आवा सिबुर सवेल आवा आरे कृष्णा सारे सो हियर व्हाट इज दी रति अभास बाय शिला रूप गोस्वामी इफ साफनेस ऑफ दी हार्ट the symptom of rati become clearly visible in persons desiring liberation or in other unqualified persons, it is not real rati. This is the definition which Srila Prabhupada has discussed in the first paragraph. <coughs> Srila Jiva Goswami writes, it has been stated that the quality of the real rati is having desire only to please Lord. If other desires are present, it should not be considered Rati, in spite of presence of other symptoms such as Sattvic Bhavas. He may be crying, he may be dancing, he may be... But it is not true. There is explained in this verse. If the Rati characterized by internal softness, melting of the heart, a war appears to be so, become visible in persons such as those desiring liberation. It should not be considered real rati, because person desiring liberation have other desires also. One should not think that if a person has a strong desire for things 
other than Krishna, it can be called Rati for the particular object, not Krishna. So it is Rati for liberation. And then again, Srila Rupa Goswami writes, How can Rati appear in person having desire for enjoyment or liberation? Those persons do not perform pure bhakti. Rati is sought out by those liberated from all desires. This is what Prabhupada has written. Bhakti starts after liberation in our book. And is not given immediately by Krishna. Prabhupada has written it is very rare. Even to the devotees, since it's most secret, this is the paragraph uh, on the page number one, which was read earlier by, I think, Rasa, Rasa, Rasika, what the Mataji read, we discussed Bhagavad Gita, which verse. So these are the paraphrase of these verses by Srila Prabhupada in the beginning. Sri Jiva Goswami writes, here the author elaborate on the reason why it is not rat, uh, real Rati. How is it possible for Vatri to appear where there are desire for material enjoyment and liberation? There is a fault in their sadhana. They do not perform pure bhakti. Pure bhakti means that it should be not be mixed with the jnana and karma, jnana, karma, adhi and avritam, or other unacceptable elements. Again, Bhakti Rasamit Sindhi Rupa Goswami writes, Though this semblance of Rati means Rati Abhas, is very astounding to the innocent. This is what Prabhupada writes, Ashtaka, Leela and all these things. Those in knowledge understand what is real, what it really is. By seeing the characteristics, this is called Rati Abhas. This is what Srila Prabhupada writes, caricature and rascalism. Our semblance of Rati. This semblance of Rati has two types. Reflection called Pratibhim and Splendor called Chaya. So Srila Prabhupada has put her first as a shadow and second as a Para which is Splendor. So you correct in our book actually the wording. Shadow attachment means reflection or pratibhim. And what is in our book as a para into bracket transcendental attachment is splendor or chaya. You correct this for your understanding. Now Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu further writes, when there are apparent qualities of rati, accompanied by desire for enjoyment and liberation, it is called Pratibhyam, very clear, reflection, Rati Abhas. This Pratibhyam Rati Abhas awards goal of enjoyment and liberation to those persons without their having to exert efforts, which means they get it easily. Rati without motivation for material enjoyment or liberation yields the main form of Rati. Whereas having attachment produces a semblance of Rati. The semblance arises through the secondary conditions. According to the, the condition, the two type of semblance, first type is described here. There is Pratibhim. The qualities of Rati appears, Rati, Lakshana, Lakshetaha, in the form of few tears or some other symptoms. We see in our temple, uh, people come for the arti, they dance, sometimes they they cry, but this is all Rati Abbas. Though this seems to indicate a touch of Rati. When the symptom appears, along with desire for enjoyment and liberation, that is called Prati Bim, very clear. The type of Rati for the Lord which is contaminated by desire for enjoyment and liberation is called Prithi Bhim Rati Abhas. This in our chart is first. This Prithi Bhim award liberation without extreme exp efforts because of the two qualities existing in the Lord. 
His power to bestow material enjoyment is power to bestow liberation. So Krishna gives easily, he gives the bhukti mukti, but he rarely gave bhakti. This is the extraordinary power of Prithibhamrati. Prithibhamrati can, they can get this, but they will not get Krishna Pram, Prem. Bhakti Rasamir Sindhu further write, This reflection of the moon of bhav appears in the heart of some persons who are attached to enjoyment and liberation, but who become somewhat satisfied by following the anga of bhakti. They follow some angas of the bhakti. Through occasional association with real devotees, the moon of the bhav is situated in the sky of real devotees' hearts. And it appears as a reflection in the non devotee for some time by its impressions. That is what we have read in our book. The process by which the Pratipim appears is described in this verse. Those who are attached to enjoyment and liberation through occasional rather than constant association with devotees imitate devotional activities such as chanting but with their own goal in mind and they achieve a general tranquility of mind but their heart are still contaminated with uh, those desires since they have not realized the fault of such desire. The devotee's heart is like a sky which is untouched by other objects and is thus suitable for rising of the moon of Prem. This is for devotee, pure devotee. The reflection of that man, moon situated in the devotee's heart, mm -hmm. not the moon itself, appear within the heart of such contaminated persons. A reflection appears because of imposition, upadi, caused by other desires. It is not true, it is only reflection because he has other desires. Thus that reflection is not exactly the same as original. Since it takes support from only a few qualities of the original rati and is a blood image possessing contamination of other desires. A desire for pure bhav, on the other hand, produces complete and pure reflection. Because the aspirant takes support of the host of wonderful qualities of bhav, makes effort for the correct goal. When that person with other desire becomes separated from the devotee, that will re reflection disappears. So it is transient. No. It says no. By impressions it leaves in his heart, the reflection of bhav remains there for some time. Maybe for a week or something like that. Further, chaya abhas now, next type. That which has some similarity to real rati, which possesses a small amount of interest in the Lord, which is unstable, and which destroys suffering is called Chaya Rati Abbas. There's different type now. Reflection is over now, Chaya Rati Abbas. Here is the word Chaya means beauty or splendor. Here it also means a reflection of resemblance to beauty, which Srila Prabhupada writes transcendental. This verse describes the Chaya Rati Abbas, taking into account the meaning of Chaya as a resemblance to beauty in combination with the word Abhas. The lit little interest means a devotee has no interest, it just came in a temple. Means that though the Lord and the Bhakti are spiritual, the person has interest in them only as material objects because there is a curiosity relating to the Lord even though material there is an appear, uh, there is an appearance of little splendor, Kanti. That is the meaning of Chaya here. Because of the light, slight attraction to the Lord, there will be slight symptoms similar to those of a, rati, a real Rati. However, because of its nature as a Chaya, it is also unsteady, Chanchala. Unlike the Prithibhyam Rati, 
आभास विच मे लास्ट फॉर सम टाइम इन प्रतिबिंब रति आभास विच वॉज प्रीवियस द अट्रैक्शन टू मटीरियल इंजॉयमेंट एंड लिबरेशन इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग बट इन छाया रति आभास द मटीरियल क्यूरियासिटी अबाउट लॉर्ड इज ट्रांसजेंट Still, because of the influence of the Lord in Chaya Rati Abhas, there is gradually a destruction of suffering of material existence. One should not say this type does not fit within the general category of Rati Abhas, because it lacks desire for enjoyment and liberation. It is classed as Rati Abhas because material curiosity is a form of enjoyment as well. अन्य अभिलाषा एज वेल इट डज नॉट ओवरलैप विथ प्रति बिमरती आभास दो बोथ टाइप हैव डिजायर फॉर एंजॉयमेंट बिकॉज छाया इज कनेक्टेड विथ ओनली क्यूरियासिटी विद अबाउट द लार्ड वेर प्रतिबिंब हैज ए स्ट्रॉन्ग कमिटमेंट टू मटीरियल एंजॉयमेंट लिबरेशन देयर फॉर छाया इज बेटर देन प्रतिबिंबरती afternoon arti people dance people cry people roll on ground we see all this so chaya rati abhas appears sometime even in ignorant people ignorant means they don't know anything they just came like sometime foreigner come in the temple they don't know anything about the krishna consciousness or the devotional or sanatan dharma but they also show something like that one professor basham who has written the book wonders that was india when he landed in kolkata he found somebody some group of uh, gauriya vaishnava chanting hari krishna with pancha tatva he said i was observing for some time then i started moving my also foot and then i started chanting and for hours or so i was absorbed in that and he he wrote that this is the experience i had so it is like ignorant he don't know what he's he's doing but he got the ex- ecstasy so observing festival of the lord residing in dham of lord and associating with the devotees of the lord even this chaya rati abhas which eventually best to auspiciousness to those people appears only with great good fortune is not in all there should be a simultaneous participation participation in item listed performed action dear to the lord observing festival of the lord residing in dham of the lord and associating with the devotees of the four things actions due to the lord means they may bring some time a uh, fruit to offer to the lord some people bring some time some gift for the lord so that they do some good uh, seva for the, which is dear to the lord in order for rati abhas to manifest in ignorant people these four things are necessary she uh, she la vishnu chakra chakra rice because of association with jivori festival and other item this rati is sometimes seen even in ignorant person persons who have no good qualities such as tolerance and have no desire to extinguish sansar they are not there for actually say free from birth and death so this is further rati abhas now is rati abhas as a general so our paragraph till this is over what is in our our paragraph this is all that we have discussed now is everything clear to you right right now prabhu yes there is uh, there is a some devotee once we discussed and some of them said they at the beginning of the first stage uh before they maybe after before initiation or after initiation some of them uh have those symptoms yes so uh, 
Yet this is also the semblance of power. It is sometimes when we are uh, come uh, come into the devotional service, we have all these ecstasies for some time, and then well, then actually when we have practice, then they disappear, and then we have they are, they were temporary. They are tem they are temporary. Yes, but but because they are not called rati abhas. Because they, we are devotees are not here for any other motive than for devotional service. They are the transient uh, appearance of the bhav in those devotees. Uh, by these are the this we have read panchanga bhakti. When we are discussing the five most important items of the bhakti, and there there is a line written: even the new devotee can experience bhav for it some time. So when they chant, when they see Deity, when they hear Bhagavatam, when they come to Vrindavan or Mayapur, and 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 when they associate with devotees, they manifest all these symptoms because they four items are powerful of sadhana bhakti. They manifest bhav, but that will not last long. That is there. Yes, some other question. Thank you. Hare Krishna. So something. Uh, Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Yes. So all these bhava bhakti, you know, these bhaktis are usually we can see among the babajis, right, Prabhu? No, babaji, babaji, what babajis? All the babajis, I don't know. I I don't want to comment and take offense, but Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami says. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they have a hellish activities going on simultaneously. They are pure devotees may have some may have definitely some they are they are some really uh, some devotees have. Sri Prabhupada when he started giving Bhagavatam class he only recited their Radha Madhav then tears were rolling on his cheek and and he could not speak and then the devotees did kirtan and then no class was there. Then Prabhupada when devotees came he said I never. I, I I offer not to show this, but this sometime it was unresistible. So they were at the stage of prayer actually, but they were just keeping it uh, hidden from the people that uh, uh, people uh, are not uh, uh, able to understand that it's a uh, stage of the prema bhakti. So they uh, again you see our chart which gives the, what we have read is written in this inner. And summary: The ecstasy of the pure devotee appears in its reflected in the heart of a person. So the one is reflection, rati. One is shadow rati, which means splendor. Oh, this we have done. Now this is the next one. By mercy of pure devotee, rati abhas becomes genuine rati or bhav. So that is the next portion we will read, and the next is danger of offending pure devotee. If we offend the pure devotee, if the offense is very grave, then real bhav is destroyed. If offense is medium, real bhav turns into rati abhas. It goes down and become imitation. If by slight offense. Bhav turns into inferior type of bhav. If it is a vatsalya bhav, it will come to sakha bhav. So bhav will go down. Then the danger of in intimately associating with a impersonalist. If we have already developed bhav bhakti, if we associate with impersonalist or maya vadis, this can turn into either rati abhas. It goes down. Or it can turn into aham gra upasana means worshiping of the self as a god. I meditate on myself as a god. So this is a danger of immediate, uh, intimately associating with a impersonalist. And then this is the last one. The fourth cause for the appearance of bhav. So first, you tell me what are the three causes for appearance of bhav? Then we can discuss four. Yes. 
Yes. Appearances, bhav. Associating with the pure devotees living in the dam. We have discussed yesterday how bhav appears. This is, these are the two ways, these are the two ways. How bhava appears? By sadhana. By sadhana and association of devotee number one, number two by mercy of Krishna are his devotee. Right? These are the two main ways by which bhav can be awakened. Sadhana bhakti and by mercy. Right? And the mercy can be of Krishna and devotee, that in, then it may be three types. But there was no third type we have discussed, there are two types. Now, the yes, fourth sir, cause... By, by, by blessing like two. By like bless, the Muni blessed. Well, that is also mercy. So uh, mercy, oh. mercy has a two ways, one is Krishna's mercy and other is devotee's mercy. Devotee's mercy, okay. The fourth cause for appearance of bhav is apart from sadhan, mercy of Krishna and mercy of purity. Right? It is written here. These are the three causes. Can you see the three now? What are the three other causes for appearance of bhav? Right? Written here in a blue line. Mercy of Krishna and mercy of Kripoti. Sa yeah, sadhan is one, mercy of Krishna is two, mercy of devotee is three. And fourth cause is sadhan in previous life can also be the cause of bhav. It appears suddenly in the person without spiritual knowledge. Sadhan or mercy. The obstacle in the previous life is now removed and thus bhav arises. Example is Vrtasur. He was a already a great devotee. Chitra Ketu, who was at this stage of bhav, but because of small, slight offense to the Parvati, he become demon, but all of a sudden he has a bhav bhakti manifested at the battlefield. We have also some children of the devotees, when they come in the temple, they have more uh, symptom of the love of God than the, their parents, because they must have practiced some devotion and some other life. So the bhav Already some devotees in a previous life may have practiced some sadhan so they can quickly reach to this stage of bhav. And then this is almost I think the last one in our slides. Which of the four causes of bhav is the best? Bhav caused by the mercy of Krishna is best. Example is Putna got the mercy of Krishna directly. She has no qualification. So that is the highest bhav which is very rare. Now this is the last uh, paragraph of our book. One should disregard any fault that one may see in a bhav bhakta. A devotee who is the stage of the bhav, if you can see some fault in him, please disregard and ignore it. You have done nectar of instruction in which it was told to you that we should not see fault in a body of a devotee. So, there is a quotation here. The Bhav Bhakta still have anartha and could potentially commit sin or aparad. This distinguishes him from one on the path of Prem, platform of Prem. However, if the Bhav Bhakta does accidentally perform some forbidden activity, externally he should not be criticized. Because due to his shining bhav bhakti, he is internally pure. Because of this level of advancement, Krishna takes care of him. An example given in our book is, a spot on the moon is not obstructing the shine of moonshine. So this much is in our book now. So we are just keeping it close. And now we will read our book and then we will refer to the original text. Somebody can read the next paragraph. 
such shadow att attachment or para attachment. So what is para? Before you read para, you read original word. Para is para attachment is chayarati. Okay. The word now. Read it now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shy. Yeah, it's it's search. Search. Sorry. Uh, yeah, read from such a shadow attachment. Okay. Such shadow attachment or para attachment can develop. If one associates with a pure devotee, or this is only holy places like Vindavana or Mathura, and if an ordinary man develops such an attachment for Krishna and fortunately performs devotional activities in the association of pure devotees, he can also rise to the platform of pure devotional service. The conclusion is that transcendental attachment is so powerful that if such attachment is seen manifesting even in some common man by the association of pure devotee, it can bring one to the perfectional stage. But such attachment for Krishna cannot be evolved in a person without his being sufficiently blessed by the association of pure devotees. That's what we have read there, that the Rati Abhas can become pure, pure Rati by association of devotee. That was our chart on this uh, paragraph. Is okay? Now here, same thing is here in Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu, you see this? It is there, can you see this? It is on the screen? Yeah. Is something... Is no, some, no, it's not on the screen, okay. By the great mercy of a dear devotee of the Lord, the semblance of bhav suddenly becomes real bhav. By, uh, now this is the next part also, by offending the devotee, even the best bhav abhas gradually wanes, just as the full moon in the sky gradually wanes. So both things are there. Good association, he can get a good bhav, and he offends, then the good bhav becomes the lower and lower uh, um, bhav means reflect, it will become reflection. Or read, read the next paragraph. As attachment can be invoked by the association of pure devotees, such attachment can also be extinguished by offenses committed at the lotus feet of pure devotees. To be more clear, by the association of pure devotees, Attachment for Krishna can be aroused. But if one commits offenses at the lotus feet of a devotee, one's shadow attachment or para attachment can be extinguished. This extinguishing is like the waning of the full moon, which gradually decreases and at last becomes dark. One should therefore be very careful while associating with pure devotees to guard against committing any offense and their lotus feet. Yeah, this is what we just read, no? <clears throat> this is the verse we saw. These are the two verses which Shri Prabhupada has put into this paragraph. Somebody can again read in this uh, on the screen. Can somebody read in the screen? By the great mercy of a dear devotee of the Lord, the semblance of bhava suddenly becomes real bhava. By offending that devotee, even the best bhava bhas gradually wanes, just as the full moon in the sky gradually wanes. So this is uh, best bhava bhas Srila Prabhupada has written here. Uh, 
Pararati or Chayarati were some the shadow attachment. So attachment, wherever in the book is attachment, it is Rati. All the word attachment in our book is Rati. In this paragraphs, okay. Now going to the next uh, part. Or uh, read the next paragraph. By an offense against the dearest devotee of the Lord, even real bhava will be destroyed. If the offense is grave, if the offense is medium, the bhava will turn to bhava bhas, and if the offense is slight, the bhava will become an inferior type. Okay. Second class, third class, what is that? Okay. Trust no attachment, either should or a pure devotee, if offense is very serious. Second class or third class, okay. So here what we see here now is skin uh, on the screen. By an offense against the dearest devotee of the Lord, even a real bhava will be destroyed. If the offense is grave, if the offense is medium, the bhav will turn into bhava bhas. And if the offense is slight, the bhav will become an inferior type. Now there must be purport for this. Let us see the purport. By the two type of grave offenses, offenses to the dearest devotee or to Krishna himself, even real bhav is destroyed. By medium offense, bhav become bhav abhas. By slight offense, bhav degrade in category. Becoming an inferior type means that there will be a degradation in term of five rasas. The eight stages from the Mahabhav to the Rati. Uh, this you may not understand right now, but I think we have discussed this. Five Rasas we all know, neutrality, servitude, and the eight stages after Prem. Bhav, Prem, Sneha, Maan, Pranya, Rag, Anurag, Bhav, Mahav, Bhav, Mahabhav, these are the different stages. So somebody may be at this stage of, uh, say, Anurag. So if the, he does some offense, then he will come down to the, say, uh, Pranya, or Sne, or Man, or Bhav. So there will be a diminution from the higher stage to the lower stage. Thus change in the Bhav will take place according to the seriousness of the offense. Uh, Sadhya Rupa or Hard Rupa Bhakti has five types. Sadhya Rupa, it means perfection. Or Hard Rupa means which is given by mercy. Those bhav, both bhava. One bhava is arised from the sadhana, one is arised from the mercy. Has five types, bhava, prem, pranya, sne, and grag. In Ujwal Nilmani, Three more types are mentioned, Maan, Anurag and Mahabhav. Thus there are eight types of Sadhya Bhakti. It means after Prem there are stages. From Bhav till Mahabhav there are eight stages, which is not the subject of our nectar of devotion. However, since the topic is Bhav Bhakti, the lowest of the eight type is the Bhav. Could simply decrease in intensity. It means the Bhav will decrease in intensity. Furthermore, more, those at the level of bhav still have impurities and could take mistake because of anaratha. Whereas those at the level of prem are pure and could never commit real offense. Bhav will be destroyed by aparat to the greatest devotee of the Krishna. An example is Dvida, Dvida monkey. Who, who was in a Ram's army and he offended Lakshman, so he became a Dravid in the next life, which, who was killed by Balaramji. So a greatest offense, the example is Dravid, monkey who became a demon. By the, uh, by the Aparad or the offense to the Lakshman, his bhav disappeared. By medium Aparad, bhav become bhav abhas. If the aparad is slight, bhav changes type. Madhurati becomes dasya rati. Dasya rati becomes shantrasi rati. By intimate association with a person, 
who is strongly desire impersonal liberation now do now we are going to the next topic so read the next topic next read next paragraph please start reading next paragraph as attachment can be invoked by the association of pure devotees no no so no no no, no. in if sometime okay if someone becomes attached to the principles of salvation or to merging into the existence of the brahm jyoti his ecstasy is gradually diminish into shadow and para attachment or else transform into the principles of aham aham gro aham graha upasna aham graha upasna this aham graha upasna describes a living entity when he begins spiritual realization by identifying himself with the supreme lord this state of self realization is technically known as monism the monist thinks himself one with the supreme lord thus because he does not differentiate between himself and the supreme lord it is his view that by worshiping himself he is worshiping the supreme whole okay so sometimes yeah, yes okay finish it okay sometimes it is found that the oh, no 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 no, no 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 wait 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 so this is what is in a bhakti rasa mil sindhu by intimate association with a person who are strongly desiring impersonal liberation real bhav become bhav abhas or become worship of the self self as a lord so these are the two things that is para this this verse is a uh, uh, given in this paragraph our nectar of devotion which we have given in your in you in chart now uh, jiva goswami right bhajaniyesh bhavata means identifying oneself with lord who is uh, the actual object of worship bhav of the lord to become aham grah upasana worship of the self so these are the two meanings given so this is the danger of associating with a impersonalist now is coming next now read sometime yes sometimes sometimes it is found that a neophyte is the taking part in the chanting and dancing very enthusiastically but within himself he is under the impression that he has become one with the supreme whole this conception of monism is completely different from pure transcendental devotional service if however it is seen that a person has developed a high standard of devotion without having undergone even the regulated principles it is to be understood that his status of devotional service was achieved in a former life for some reason or another it had been temporarily stopped but most probably by an offense committed at the lotus feet of a devotee now with a good second chance it has again begun to develop the conclusion is that steady progress in the devotional service can be attained only in the association of pure devotees so this is the fourth type of a bhav appearing in a person who has practiced in a previous life and because of some uh, uh, some offense it was stopped now all of sudden it manifest so this is the fourth type an example was virtasur so it is seen sometime that new devotee absorbed in goals of different type of liberation identify themselves with the lord momentarily during dancing or other acts of devotion this is what we have read right now a uh, kshanam for a moment is only the representative term it implies as well that attempt to identify oneself as the lord may last for a long time mukti paksha gaha means those who are absorbed in the goal of swarup sarishti or samepya of the five, five type of the liberation bhav sometime appear suddenly this is the this is the this is the part bhav sometime appear suddenly in a person without performance of sadhana or mercy and without scriptural knowledge it should be inferred that in a previous life some obstacle interrupted the person's skillful sadhana and in this life the obstacle has finally been removed this is what we read sadhana refer to the cause of bhav sadhak sadhan bhakti the mercy of krishna and the mercy of the devotee there are three type iksha refer to the knowledge gained through the scripture sometime bhav appear suddenly without knowledge of scripture and without sadhan mercy krishna or mercy of a devotee it seems uh, it is seen and verified 
to be real bhav one should then infer sadhan from previous life as in the case of virtaso and others now read the next paragraph if one can gradually advance his status in devotional service this is understood to be due to the causeless mercy of krishna himself if a person is completely detached from material enjoyment and has developed pure ecstatic devotion even if he is sometimes accidentally found not living up to the standard of devotional service one should not be envious of him it is confirmed also in bhagavad gita that a devotee who has unflinching faith in and devotion to the lord even if sometimes found to be accidentally deviated from pure devotional characteristics should still be counted among the pure unflinching faith in devotional service in lord krishna and in the spiritual master makes one highly elevated in the activities of devotional service so where is in the bhagavad gita this anybody can remember the verse मोस्ट in our first slide we have the which is the best bhav the best bhav which is given by krishna mercy of krishna previously in uh, verse 136 three kinds of bhav were mentioned sadhan mercy of krishna and mercy of devotee now bhav arising due to sadhan in previous life has are just been mentioned which of these is the best hinting at example such as putna the author says the bhav caused by mercy of krishna is the best this is a commentary of jiva goswami okay now if someone if some apparent fault is seen in a person who has developed real bhav one should not be hostile to him just we read not be envious to him because he has accomplished the goal in all respects there may be some external bad conduct but one should not be hostile to him because by having bhav the person cannot be contaminated by those external actions bhakti samil sindhu points out that the bhav bhakti still has anartha and could commit sin or aprad the this distinguishes him from the prema bhakta however even if a mistake make mistakes because of level of advancement krishna takes care of him uh jiva goswami bhav bhakti whether one is pure or contaminated garud puran and regardless of one's external situation simply by remembering the lord uh, remembering the lord's feet of personality of godhead one can cleanse one's internal and external existence this person cannot be criticized because he has accomplished the goal he has attained bhav kirtarathah nursing a pran this is i think given in our book next nursing a pran we will read now read the last paragraph so in the nursing quran sorry mata ji can you continue yes Nobody is reading. Gopika, continue. Continue. Prabhu ji. Okay. Okay, Madhuri. Yes, you will continue. Hare. Hare Krishna, Prabhu ji. Yes. Uh, the previous slide which you showed, can you show it once again, Prabhu? Ah, uh, you read in nursing a pran. Ah, uh, no, not that one. Not that one. The Padma Puran one. Oh, you, what you have to do, Padma Puran? It was Garuda Puran. 
Oh, was it Karuk Pra? Yeah, uh, like, so I was just wondering, this is, um, is like similar to, uh, like when you say the prayer, Om Pavitra Pavitra Va Sarva Vastham Katho Piva, it's what? the same one, right? Yeah. Uh, same idea is same. Abhavitra, Pavitra, Vaha, Sarva, Astan, is the same verse, is the same verse. Yeah, it's the same verse, yeah. Yeah, this one, by, no, by, no, by now you know it is from Garuda Puran, okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, now read, in the Narsingha Puran. In the Narsingha Puran, it is stated, if a person has completely engaged his mind and body and activities in the service of the Supreme Godhead, but externally, he is found to be engaged in some abominable activities. These abominable activities will surely be very quickly vanquished by the influence of this staunch devotional force. The example is given that on the full moon, there are some spots which may appear to be pop marks. Still, the illumination spread by the full moon cannot be checked. Similarly, a little fault in the midst of volumes of devotional service is not at all to be counted as a fault. Attachment for Krishna is transcendental bliss. Amid unlimited volumes of transcendental bliss, a spot of some material defect cannot act in any way. So this is the nursing approach. Bhagavati chahara vananya chetaha brashah malino api virajate manushyaha nahi shasya kulushyaha shavihi kadachita Timaraha Prabhavatam Upayeti Chandraha. A person who is dedicated completely to the Lord may show externally serious contamination, but internally he is pure. The full moon, though marked by the figure of a rabbit, is never overcome by darkness. This is an example given, and this is a little few lines of commentary by Jiva Goswami. But somebody should read this. A person may show serious contamination. This means that it is seen externally that he performs forbidden activities. However, he shines with internal bhakti, which cannot be defeated by any money. He is incomparable. A particular case, the moon is introduced to support the great principle. This is called? Arthantra Nyasa. In the... In, in the Hari Puncha. Yes, in Hari Vansa it is said Lok Chaya Mayama Lakshama Tavanka Sasha Sangita. The darkest part in the moon is called rabbit. Okay, this is just information. Though there is a fault in the beauty of the moon, that fault is not it is it is only superficial. Rati is naturally and eternally. Unstable. The Rati is naturally and eternally unstable because of its continuous ever increasing desire for pleasing Lord. And it is full of bliss, manifesting this instability in the form of variety of Sanchari Bhav. It is tastier than millions of moons. This is what Srila Prabhupada is in the last line. Attachment to Krishna is transcendental. Bliss and unlimited volumes of transcendental bliss. This is the verse which is paraphrased in this line. Rati is naturally, eternally, naturally and eternally unstable because of its continuous ever increasing desire. Unstable it increases more because they want to please Lord more. And then it will produce so many Sanchari Bhav means emotion. There are 33 Sanchari Bhav. They will manifest so it was very pleasing. What is described unstable? Why? Due to ever increasing desire for the Lord, and this state is without beginning or continuous. Rati is also described anand because it is full of joy. Thus, Rati is characterized by continuous instability and very strong bliss. Uh, the second line referred to various sanchari bhav or vibhichari bhav, which causes that instability. So, Vijari Bhavas are transient, they come and go. So, Srila Prabhupada just put them in a very simple language. And here our third wave over. Tomorrow we will finish the fourth wave, the 19th chapter.
now we have uh, I think we have 25 minutes break in four groups let them discuss this chapter then we'll meet again by uh, 5 to 11 okay shall I put them in breakout rooms Prabhu? yeah yeah put them breakout rooms okay Prabhu if uh, one devotee show the symptoms of this uh, power uh, shall we say that he is uh, already a power partner? If somebody shows the symptom of what? A, a power. Sorry, again, I, I don't uh, get it. Show the symptom of a power. Bhava, bhava. Okay, if somebody shows the symptom of bhava, then? Yeah, con con constantly, constantly show the symptom of uh, power. So then uh, we can judge that he is uh, already in the stage of power, yeah? Well, those who are in a bhava can understand <coughs> who is at a bhava, but uh, some people may make a show and we are not actually learned ourselves, then he, we can be cheated also. You know, if you are a doctor, then you can know which doctor is better. A patient cannot know which is a better doctor. He may say, okay, I am cured, but this doesn't mean you must know actually those who are at the stage of bhav, they can understand the person who is at the bhav. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, we can respect the people who show us the symptom, but usually we have to see the nine symptoms whether they are there. That, that means the nine symptoms, they must be uh, manifested at the same person at uh, the uh, same time, yeah? One, two, whatever is there, that is one more criteria than his crying or dancing. Okay. Yeah, those are more good criteria. Okay, Hare Krishna, see you. Uh, Thank you. After 10 minutes.